Hormone replacement therapy in female patients is complex and multifactorial and the approach that we take often depends on if a patient is premenopausal or postmenopausal or as we sometimes call perimenopausal which just means around menopause, close to menopause. For premenopausal patients, typically the ovaries are still functioning. They're still producing the sex hormones as we call them, testosterone, estrogen, and progesterone. But sometimes the levels can be deficient. Uh, specifically, we find testosterone often deficient in premenopausal women, and that can cause a disorder we call hypoactive sexual desire disorder, which is essentially low sex drive for women. Another issue we find in premenopausal patients is they can develop estrogen dominance during different parts of their menstrual cycle, typically towards the end of the menstrual cycle. Estrogen dominance is when their estrogen levels are much higher than their progesterone levels can balance with. And that typically creates a picture of essentially PMS, irritability, mood swings, breast tenderness, bloating, all those symptoms that, that many women are all too familiar with and can often be resolved just by bringing some balance back with the progesterone to offset the estrogen dominance. So in premenopausal women, typically testosterone, progesterone, and then some of the other hormones we always monitor and manage, such as thyroid and adrenals, is the approach. They don't typically need estrogen replacement. Now for postmenopausal women, the ovaries have shut down. They're not producing those three sex hormones anymore, testosterone, estrogen, or progesterone. So those patients often need the testosterone and progesterone treatment, similar to premenopausal women, but they also often need estrogen replacement depending on symptoms. And the three main symptoms we look at for estrogen deficiency in postmenopausal women are night sweats, hot flashes, and vaginal dryness. So if a patient is experiencing any or all of those three symptoms, and they're postmenopausal, they will likely need estrogen replacement. Again, similar to premenopausal patients, we also look at other hormones such as thyroid and adrenals and address those if necessary.